What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Philo. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on your post notifications because I'm planning on coming back to the channel as soon as I can, as soon as my semester is over. But here we go with this video. Guys, um, a lot of things has, have changed. I'm 18 now. Um, I'm in college. Um, a lot of things have changed, and, um, the Triple H era is upon us in the WWE, and, um, ever since Crown Jewel in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, their, their, uh, previous, um, premium live event, Triple H has been uh, doing an amazing job with... We've had three amazing heel turns on deck. First, we have Asuka turning on Charlotte and Bianca and joining the... the uh, joining Damage Control. I was gonna say Judgment Day, but we're, we're, we'll get into that soon in the video. We have that... Um... Asuka turning on Bianca and Charlotte and joining Damage Control. Damage Control is um, stronger than ever right now. They have Bailey, they have Dakota, they have the women's champion EO, Kyrie Sane, the returning Kyrie Sane, and now Asuka. What a lineup! And probably uh, they're gonna have a women's war games match with Bianca, Charlotte, maybe Becky, and uh, Shotzi, definitely. I don't know the rest of, um, we'll see how it plays out. So that's one heel turn. The second heel turn, the second heel turn, guys, is Santos Escobar turning on Rey Mysterio, saying that he pulled LWO together and he is the foundation of LWO saying that it was supposed to be him, you and me uh, referring to Rey Mysterio and himself and not um, not Carlito. What an amazing heel turn and Zelina Vega's acting as well. What That was beautiful. And it wasn't like it was one segment and then later on in the show, that's when the heel turn happened. When Santos, you you even saw his facial expressions. He was, he was uh, trying to decide should I turn heel or like leading up to the heel turn. He like turned heel on Rey Mysterio. So that was the second heel turn. And the third guys, long term story. This is when long term storytelling is magical. Beautiful, if you will. Drew McIntyre's heel turn, ladies and gentlemen, culminated or started last year at Clash at the Castle in Wales, Cardiff, Wales, where Drew lost to Roman Reigns in front of his hometown crowd. One, over 1,000 people. Over 1,000 people. Uh, Solo Sokoa. Um, um, Solo Sokoa. Solo costed. Cost. Drew McIntyre the world. The undisputed world championship. In front of his hometown. And then. Fast forward a year later. Cody Rhodes. Brings back. Jey Uso on Raw. Which led to Kevin Owens going to Smackdown. And Drew McIntyre doesn't want to forgive. He can't forgive. He can't forget. He can't move on. And that's when he fought. We started thinking that Drew can do it again. <coughs> Drew can get it done. So that's when he challenged <coughs> Seth. He challenged Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at Crown Jewel in Saudi Arabia, 
And that's when Seth Rollins beat Drew McIntyre clean in the ring with no one to, with Drew McIntyre. He can't blame anyone now. All he has to blame is himself. So then we had uh, Damian Priest coming down, wanting to cash in, and then Sami Zayn ripping that out of his hands, running away with the briefcase. <coughs> and now, two weeks out of Crown Jewel, we see Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins in the back. Drew telling Seth Rollins, you told me that if I lose, I have no one to blame but myself. And you were right. Because he was right. Drew had no one to blame at Crown Jewel except for himself. And after the match, he went out like his leading up to the heel turn. I love this leading up. I love Drew McIntyre's storytelling. This storytelling with Drew. This this beautiful this is beautiful how it turned out because drew went back to the back rhea ripley saw him and was like yeah i told you man i told you and that is what set up drew later on on monday night raw turning heel clay mooring jay uso and drew mcintyre Shaking hands with Rhea Ripley at the end of the night. What a beautiful, beautiful way the Drew McIntyre turn, heel turn unfolded. Drew McIntyre is probably now on Team Judgment Day and probably in the Judgment Day. Um, probably in the Judgment Day. For um, for war games, so we'll see how that plays out. But the Drew McIntyre heel turn was magical. Let me know what you guys think of the heel turn in the comment section below. But ever since Triple H, Triple H, Triple H is doing an amazing job being in charge of storytelling and creative great job to triple h i can't wait to like watch i can't wait to watch what happens next leading up to randy orton's return all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace